Hello, hope you guys are doing well. I got an announcement for uh, all of you. This Sunday, uh, it's June 14th, we're going to be resuming our in-person worship gatherings on our church campus. So that's kind of big news, right? Um, yeah, so uh, I just have some things I'd like to share with you about that. Um, uh, kind of kind of some expectations of what that's going to look like because it's not going to look like uh, our normal times that we would come together. Um, I'm sure you're familiar, well actually maybe you're not familiar uh, with all of the criteria that's been handed down from the CDC and from uh, just our state on some of the things that we need to do in order to be able to gather together. Um, but I'm aware of that. Uh, your church board and I, we've been meeting together and we think we have a plan in place um, that we're embracing and moving ahead with uh, so that we could continue coming together. So um, currently we can gather up to 100 people on our church campus that just has to be outside. So that's the avenue upon which we're going. Um, again, this is gonna look different. Um, and, and really uh, what I wanted to share with you is, is be ready. Um, and you know what, if you're not, if you're not ready to come, uh, maybe the, the idea of you coming gives you some anxiety. Uh, maybe you're high, you're high risk. Um, you know, then I, want, I just wanna encourage you, stay home. Um, stay home and continue to participate in our online gathering. Uh, you know, our, our live stream is what I mean. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, don't feel any pressure to attend if that causes you anxiety. Uh, there's no need for that. Um, if you're sick uh, or you have symptoms of being sick or you're just getting over being sick, then it's also a good idea for you to just stay home, participate in our, in our live stream there. Um, some people aren't ready to come out and that's just completely okay. So uh, if you are one of those, just know we are continuing our live stream. It, we've been doing it every Sunday at 11 a.m. Um, and, and normally it's been Kristen and I in a room, just in this particular room, uh, drinking coffee and sharing from God's word with you. We're, it's gonna look different because we're gonna be live streaming from our, you know, from our church campus, uh, the outdoor worship service that we have. And so uh, I'm sure you're gonna hear different different quality and, and things like that, but um, we will like we are committed to this live stream. And so in the days ahead, um, you'll see hopefully that we're gonna we're gonna get a little bit more of our act together with this and be able to do something more quality. Um, but we're just committed to this. We think it's a it's been a great opportunity for us to share the gospel in this season that we're in, right? Uh, more people are being reached, I think. I think with the gospel on this live stream than just when we would gather in person. Uh, it's been pretty neat. So um, we're gonna keep that up. Uh, and yes, that will look different. Um, we're gonna be gathering uh, in the backyard of our church campus at 11 a.m. this Sunday. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. Here's some of the things that you should know though. All right, um, these, these things will directly impact every single person that's coming. One, uh, according to the criteria that's been given to us, every single one of us needs to be wearing a face mask. And that is something that we're embracing. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do that. Um, and so uh, if you have a face mask, bring it with you. If you have a face covering, bring it with you. It needs to be something that covers your nose, it covers your mouth. If you don't have a face mask, uh, we will have those available for you. Um, but if, if you're in a position to wear, like maybe you have uh, some type of health condition that's keeping you from wearing a mask, um, or, or some other reason why you may not want to wear, wear a mask, uh, I'm just going to tell you up front, um, it's probably not time for you to join the gathering yet then. Uh, right now, everybody's going to be wearing that. That's just what we're embracing. That's, that's what we're doing. So um, yeah, if you can't do that for whatever reason, please feel free to participate in our live stream. Uh, our worship team is going to be wearing one. I'm going to be wearing one while I'm preaching. I'm not used to that, um, but I'm, I'm going to do it. The other thing that we're encouraging is that you bring a chair to sit in. Uh, likely, that's going to be a camping chair. If you want to haul that recliner that you have been watching this live stream in uh, from, go right ahead. You just got to take it back when you're done, though. Um, it's okay to bring a blanket. Uh, really, the whole reason why we're doing that is, is it's just less surfaces for people to touch. It's less for us to clean. It's more manageable and safe for you and for us uh, with this criteria that we have in place, too. It's just more practical. So um, you might be wondering too, are kids welcome? Absolutely. Please bring your kid. Um, 
unfortunately, we don't have children's church right now. And so uh, when your kid comes, you, you know, they're just going to stick by your side. Um, it might be a good idea to bring um, maybe a bag of stuff for them to do, activities or some snacks. But uh, kids, are, kids are a part of the church. Um, it's, they're, they're a part of our life. Uh, why wouldn't we want them there? Uh, and we know, we know this. Kids make sounds. Uh, kids cry. Kids sometimes argue and need correction from parents. Um, I mean, all those things are real. We, we, kids sometimes want to come up and hug the pastor. Uh, that's just been my kids. But uh, while preaching, that happens. So um, maybe that'll happen, maybe not. Um, we do need to adhere to social distancing. That's remaining six feet apart from other people unless you're of the same household. Uh, that's why we're saying when you come with your chairs and all that, sit as a household group. Um, but uh, and then here's another thing. It's just a request on maybe something a way that you can help us is, uh, you know, this is going to be outside. Um, it, outdoors is going to be our worship scape. I'm looking forward to that part of it. Um, but that sun might get to be a little bit too much for you or for others. If you have a canopy that's at home um, that you're not using right now, and you wouldn't mind loaning that to our church, we would so appreciate that. Um, if you could bring that prior to Sunday, then we can have that set up Sunday morning. And what that'll do is it'll provide shade for people who need it. It's also going to provide uh, kind of a way for us to say, hey, come sit down under this particular canopy, right? Uh, and just make things a whole lot more practical, a whole lot easy. So if you have one that you can lend to us, that would be great. Um, just write your name on the bag, write your name on the canopy itself so we can get those back to you. And if you wouldn't mind, just drop on that uh, by our church campus. You could put it in the backyard, go through the gate, and put it put it on the ground next to the uh, garage. Um, that would be a great place for us to grab that and to use that. So thank you for considering that. Um, let's see. Worship lyrics, you might be wondering about that. Uh, we don't have a projector that is high enough lumens to be able to be shown in daylight. Um, and we don't have TVs available outside like we have inside. And so what we're going to do, our plan is, is to email out the lyrics the night before um, uh, so that people can have those on their phone. They could choose to print them out. Um, and that's the avenue that we got. So uh, if you're not on that list and you want to be on that list, I'll put my email address in the comments. And you can just email me and say, hey, add me. Um, and make sure you tell me who you are, too. That might that might be helpful for me. Um, and, and then this one's pretty important. Uh, coffee has been a staple to all of our worship gatherings, right? It's been Jesus, uh, it's been Holy Spirit, it's been coffee. Um, and uh, <clears throat> anyway, we can't serve coffee right now. We can't serve snacks, anything like that. So my encouragement to you is to bring coffee. Um, bring your own coffee. Maybe stop by a place on the way. Uh, or, I don't know, bring a thermos full of coffee. Um, I don't know. Maybe you go get one of those uh, camel packs that people use for hiking, you know, that, uh, that you just kind of drink out of uh, as you go. That would be completely acceptable as well. Um, restrooms, we will have our indoor restrooms available. That's the only reason why people would be coming in and out of our main building is to use those. Um, and, and let me tell you something else here too is here's kind of what you could expect from us. Um, we are going to be providing masks, we're going to be providing gloves, we're going to be cleaning high My food. touch. You finished your food? Great. Okay. Come on out. Come on. Joshua finished his dinner. Great. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, anyway, we're, we're, we got those that we're going to be distributing. Uh, we're going to be cleaning high touch areas before and after worship gatherings. Restrooms are going to be cleaned uh, after every every activity that we have on campus, um, and we're also going to have hand sanitizer available. We're, we're we want to have a place where you feel comfortable being, um, and and yeah, so we're going to go to those lengths. Um, but um, you know, here's the thing: I, I know there's not a single one of us that's probably excited to wear a mask. Uh, and there's probably only a few people who are really excited about the social distancing, and we know them. They're all introverts. Uh, you may not be an introvert. I know it's going to be hard. I know that um, us coming together, this is going to be an inconvenience. Um, my encouragement to you is this. Please don't allow those lesser things to overshadow the more important things. I'm talking about the joy of being together and worshiping our Lord. 
we haven't been able to have that together in such a long time. Uh, let's make that our priority. And, um, you know, there's a whole lot of opinions. Um, people have different feelings about face masks. We're getting a whole lot of mixed messages about face masks, but here's what we know. Um, our requirements are that everybody wears one, and so we're just gonna come together in unity to be able to do that. Uh, and, and really, that's what we want for the whole time that we're together. We want, we want to be able to experience unity in the body of Christ. Um, Ephesians 4, 2 through 6 says this. It says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. It says, There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Right? What a picture of unity, of all of us coming together behind the Lord. Right, He's the one who has drawn us together. Let's let him be the reason why we come together here. So you guys, thank you for your patience. Thanks for watching this long video. Uh, we're all doing this for the very first time. I mean, and there's no playbook for resuming these gatherings in the midst of a pandemic. I've never done this before, but we're going to give it our best shot. Um, See, our goal in all of these things is to follow the words of our Lord, uh, our Master, our King. When he says this, he says, A new command I give you, love one another. As, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. I think we got a great opportunity uh, to be able to show just the people around us who we really are. And who we are in the midst of difficulty. And we are a people who have been loved by God and enabled to love one another, even amidst circumstances like this. So I hope that you can join us on Sunday. Uh, 11 a.m., our backyard uh, of our church campus right on the corner of Okanagan and Sanders in Chelan. Uh, we would love to have you, um, but just come ready to worship. So, all right, God bless you. If you got any questions, uh, feel free to shoot them my way. All right, talk to you later. Hope to see you Sunday. Bye.